right, this is Wednesday. Uh, day after I got towed home, got the car to run. Uh, hey, it's not sounding good, it's not. Well, anyways, I changed out two coils because my scanner code told me that cylinders one and two are misfiring. Changed them out. And it's doing the same thing. Go out here to the back of the car. barely putting any power or poop out and the exhaust is cold it is cold I can stand here and not get choked out and it, the exhaust is cold and you see how long I'm putting my hand to it I come over here and it's warm but I'm getting choked out majorly <coughs> Oh, damn. I'm gonna... Okay, my arms are on the car itself. And I'm staring at, a, at the motor running. There's a side that's running warm in the exhaust and very rich. coil that was in one and cylinder number two is over there by my toe box that one right there that's another motorcraft these two here are dense denso pull plug off on that The knocking sound is clearly at the bottom end. And I also got a code that my EGR is staying open at idle too. I'm getting barely vacuum out of that one. Now if I do rev it, that knocking sound does get louder. So I think I may have bottom end issues now. I pull the idle control valve, car shuts off. So I have not taken that off yet, so I don't know. If he's running rough, but running, so I don't know. There is water in here. Heck, it's not even warm. Well, it's barely, barely warm. I don't know. I think close to 300,000 miles close to it, you finally said I had enough. I think. But, I want to get a second opinion. Let's do the in drive or uh, I didn't get a cheapy ooh check engine lights on that that wasn't on there before this is one specifically for a Ford I don't use a cheapy scanners on eBay since I have a engine code I'm gonna check it out see what it came up with 
Oh wait. Definitely hearing the tap, 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 tap. Automatic. Driver's door, yeah, I know about that one. Two, paratrain, electronic, kind of scanning all through that. Um, powertrain control, I hope that's the correct one. Read fault data. On engine off. Ooh. Okay, it's telling it to go higher RPM. I was like, oh no. Damn, check engine valve uh, code. Now I didn't do anything with the EGR yet, so that that'll definitely come up. foot there. There's the EGR. Okay, there two. Boost switch circuit fault. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, lack of switch sensor indicates lean. That's probably... doing that. Temps at normal. Oil pressure is there. I don't know how much. But... 283,290. So... Cylinder one, cylinder two, and it goes back to one again. Now I swapped out the coils. Go back to... So it's still saying that there's two codes. Eight readiness there, readiness not complete, readiness not complete, supported. 
Data supported, 27, ignition. So yeah. Need codes. So yeah, as you see in cylinders one and two misfire. That's the only one. Not deleting it, so yes, I'm sure I want to. All right, folks. I guess I'll check out the EGR. I'm I'm scared to. Not you know, I'm scared they don't blow up. I'm scared to find out what what the answer is. Hoping it's not bottom end because I don't have the money. So, right. don't forget to hit that like button, comment if you can, um, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Be safe, be smart, call a sober driver, be nice to your bar bouncers, okay? Peace out.